Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to help you collect comic books, some tips and tricks, and this is Why Not Comics. Let's get started. Here we go. First thing is first, collect what you love. If you like DC, Superman, Batman, you want, you like Marvel, Avengers, it, it's all up to you. You're the person that's going to collect what you want to collect. So you collect what you like. I mean, I can tell you this and that, but it's all up to you what you want to collect. But I'm going to use some tips and tricks of uh, just some basic stuff that you should try to pick up if you can and common knowledge that you need to know while collecting comic books. And um, here we go. I'm just going to give you a couple books to try to pick up. I actually started three years ago, and um, I didn't know nothing about collecting comic books. I just liked the figures and stuff, and I loved Thor, and I watched X-Men when I was little, and I just watched all the cartoons, and... Um, I actually went to a, uh, I went to a shop, not a comic book shop, but just a, a wholesale shop, and they uh, had comic books, and I actually picked one up, and ever since then, I just kept buying them, didn't know nothing about them, so this is issue number one, X Factor number one, and uh, I seen number one, so I was, you know, I was like, mm, get all the number ones. Um, that could be a good idea, and it couldn't, it doesn't mean that it's worth a lot of money, whatever, and, uh, this ain't this video is not gonna give you make you get a whole bunch of money. No, it's, I'm just trying to give you tips of what to look out for and what you're trying to do. And this book's to try to pick up. This is actually a good book to pick up for a beginner. This is one of the very first books I picked up in the first month of me collecting. But this is a good beginner book to pick up. And this is just a, another team of the X Men together X Factor. And then here's X-Men number one. This is a Jim Lee run, X-Men number one. And he had four different covers. This is a collector's copy. And here's a direct copy right here. And that's direct right there. And believe it or not, these right here are hard to find. So if you find a newsstand in high grade, definitely try to pick this up. So that's something while you're hunting your beginner, look for uh, X-Men number one and look for the newsstand. They're going to be different. It's going to be different covers. But these are all the same one from Jim Lee. So try to pick it up. That's number, well here, let me get some of these books off. Number one, well right, this is number one, that's number two, three, and four. And there's newsstand, if you can find a newsstand, try to pick it up, especially this one right here, this is Magneto, try, try to pick that up. And then the same run, number four, is the first appearance of Mega Red. In the 90s, the newsstands are worth more in higher grades. So right here, this is a, a, a dollar, Back in the day, it cost a dollar. This one was a dollar fifty, but it cost a dollar. And um, these, this is considered the '90s. And like I said, the newsstand's harder to find. So that's some X-Men books you can try to find or look for. This is a classic X-Men run. Uh, X Force number one. That's another beginner book to try to pick up. And it actually has a uh, some of the ones in the poly bag. It's like already in the bag. This is a bag. I got it in bag and board. It keeps the book protected. And um, some of these have Dare, not Daredevil, Deadpool in the back of it. And they're actually selling them cards too. So look for the, if you, let me take it out. I'll show you. Uh, well, this one, you can't see the card. But there's a card on the back of, in these books. And uh, you have to take it out to see. I'm not going to do that. Just kind of leave. And this is actually a direct copy too. But anyways, that's that. But look for Deadpool. If you can find it, that'd be a pretty good score if you can do it. So here's another book if you're a beginner to collect. Then we got New Mutants number one. Another beginner book. Try to collect a whole run of this. Read them, see if you enjoy it, and go from there. So that's another book to try to pick up if you can. And then we got Web of Spider-Man number one. I actually got this one graded too. I thought this was supposed to be, in my opinion, I thought it was a 9-8, but it wasn't. And uh, that's that one, Web of Spider-Man. Um, good uh, beginner uh, run to pick up, so try to pick it up if you can. So that's a couple books for you. I'm going to do a little short video, just what to collect, what not to collect for beginners. I actually don't care for DC that much. I try to watch some of the movies. The comic books don't really excite me, so I'm a Marvel fan. But you can do the same thing with uh, with DC, just if you like Superman. You know, look for, if it says 65 cents, uh, Superman, and it's kind of look for the runs and, you know, fill in your runs and stuff like that. 
So these are your grades. 9A is a near, a near mint. And then 9.9 9 and uh, 10 is mint. That's hard, very hard to get. So 9A is probably your best bet. I actually don't even own a 9.9 9 book. You can probably get a newer one, but I personally don't have one. But uh, this is a 9.6 and an older book. It's not too bad. This is actually a newer book. And then I got, like I said, I got um, the same book, Newsstand. I'm actually going to get this one graded. This is a pretty decent grade. And um, in my opinion, 9.6, So I'm going to actually get that one sent off to CGC and let them grade it. This right here is your grades. And then it tells you white pages, stuff like that. And um, that's a 9.6. And then here's a 9.8. That's what it looked like. So nine eight. Usually the key is about uh, graded books is you know the value better. If you bought this book online, they can say uh, near mint, which is would be a nine eight or nine well nine four nine six nine eight. So your your book holds more value if it's graded. That's in my opinion. Some people don't buy graded books. I I do. You know for. You know investment purposes if that's what I, I don't really try to do that but you know if something happens to me i like my wife to know you know she'll know what she got so she can look it up and sell it for what she needs to sell it for stuff like that i mean my kids we all enjoy i collect funko pops too and you know, what we do and um we go to different shows and we get stuff signed and you know we have a good time but i like all my stuff to be you know just ready to go and so i know the exact value of a book now I get ungraded books like this, you know, and I can, if I get it cheap enough, I'll resell it to somebody and, you know, to help them start their collection. You know, I try to give them a good deal. If I get a good deal, I'll give them a good deal. Just stuff like that. And I'm just trying to give you little tips and tricks of, you know, what to look out for. What does graded books mean? What does a 9, 8, a 9, 6 mean? What does this little barcode mean? If you don't know, I'm trying to just kind of help you out. And I'm going to put some more tips and tricks, you know, for in the future videos just to help you out for beginners what to pick up like i'll give you 10 basic books to pick up for 100 bucks or something like that but anyways if you're enjoying the channel make sure to like comment subscribe and uh, have a good one here we go